Hi everyone and welcome day 41 in the EPIC 3 program and today we have some glutes and core complexes. Each complex is going to be 3 minutes duration, 30 second rest. We have 11 complexes in total and 8 of those will be focused on the glutes, of course our hamstrings will be involved as well and then the final 3 complexes will all involve the core. For today's workout you will need some dumbbells, a chair for some hip thrusts, your glute band and maybe a towel to place under the dumbbell just to increase the comfort. The dumbbell I'm using for my hip thrusts will be 25kg, I will also be using that for the sumo squats and the sumo deadlifts. I will then also be using one 15kg dumbbell and that will be for the likes of a staggered Romanian deadlift and also a forward lean lunge. We're going to kick it off with some side steps today. That Will be the first complex. Band will be just above the knees and you're going to focus on one side for 10 reps pushing the knee out. Not so much the foot, so you're trying not to bring that foot like this, you're trying to bring the knee out. Really push against that band and then we repeat the opposite side and that will be for the duration of the first complex. We will then move into our sumo squats and our hip thrusts. So today we have two types of hip thrusts within the same complex. It's going to be full range, however we're going to try and get those toes up. What I mean is, as you can see here, I'm doing a hip thrust, of course I don't have the band or dumbbell on but it's the same thing. As you can see I'm coming down and I'm really arching my back, hyperextending that back you'd want to try and avoid that. Try not to extend and bend at that back. As you can see now, I'm coming down all as one. My back stays pretty much the same position. I'm coming down far enough that my actual toes are coming off the floor, but the point of this is at the bottom, you really do need to make use of that band. So as you come up from that deep position, you're pushing those knees out. We then following that, we'll go into just our half reps. Our half rep hip thrusts, where of course, again, you're focusing on the knees out, but full contraction at the top. Just one more thing I wanna run through. One of the complexes actually involve a balance. It's a body weight RDL. I am calling it an RDL because I actually want you to focus on the stretch, on the hamstring, on the leg that is on the floor. The other leg that is in the air, don't worry about that. You don't need to kick it up, you don't need to squeeze the glutes. I actually want you to just try and focus on the stretch in the hamstring when you're lowering down so that you're not rounding your back in order to reach the toe. You're actually trying to keep the hips up, push them back, slight bend in the knee, trying to keep your chest up. That is the main thing. Chest up, shoulder blades back, and you're trying to come down so that you're maintaining that good position to just lightly touch that hand on the foot. And in regards what hand you should reach down, you can play about. You can switch for the left hand or the right hand. With glute workouts, it's less about the actual exercises, it's more I want you to think about how you do them. You can make this workout extremely intense and we're gonna do it. So don't forget we have three complexes at the very end involving our core, so you'll need your mat. This is gonna be a tough workout, but boy, we will feel amazing after it. Let's go.
through the night like we're from a different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the maze, there's so many that never get out of Their feet in the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we're golden, we run to the end and we run without shame Tight as can be 